Hey, this is Michelle Cooper. I'm here with Soccer.com and here are three tips to level up your finishing. The first tip is you wanna make sure that your prep touch is wide of your body. If it gets stuck underneath you, it's much harder to wrap around and get a good shot. When you're taking your prep touch, you wanna to make sure it's at least a foot away from you so you get a good step on it and you're able to wrap around the ball. After I take my prep touch, I make sure to check the goal, look up, take a deep breath, and then hit my shot. Second tip is when you're striking the ball, you make sure you wanna hit it with your laces and make sure you go with full power. If you wanna hit the ball with finesse, you hit it with the inside of your foot to help you curve the ball around the keeper. When you hit the ball with your laces, you can knuckleball it, which helps it swerve a little bit more around the keeper, and that'll be straight on, right down the middle of the foot. But if you're trying to swing across and hit the ball across your body, try and hit it a bit more inside of the foot, between the finesse and between the laces. A lot of times I decide between power and finesse, depending on how far away I am from the goal and how many obstacles and people I have in front of me. If I'm on the right side of the field, it's much easier for me to finesse the ball around than it is dead center than to smack it. And the third and final tip is your follow through. When you hit through the ball to strike it, you make sure that your hips are going where you want the ball to finish through. If you over rotate, the ball will continue wide of the net and you wanna make sure that your hips are square to the goal and where you want it to go so it'll hit the back of the net. When you hit the ball with finesse and you hit the ball with power, you wanna make sure when you do follow through with your hips, it doesn't only focus on your hips, it focuses on your plant foot as well, and that you swing all the way through the ball and land on your plant foot again. As opposed, if you chop at the ball, the ball will continue to go up and high, and you don't wanna do that. You wanna make sure that you're able to swing all the way through it, and that'll help you keep it low and keep it on net. Now bringing these three steps together, you make sure you take your prep touch at least a foot away from you, strike through the ball, and finish with your hips towards net. It's really important that you practice these three steps at game speed so when you're in there and the pressure is on, you're able to execute. <laughs>